Hi guys, well, oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'll be showing you guys how to do aura nails with a beauty blender. You don't need to spend $40, $60 on an airbrush. Just get any regular beauty blender that looks like this and make the perfect aura nail look. Just a disclaimer that I am not a licensed nail tech. I'm just a girl who's been doing her nails for five years. Like and subscribe if you liked it. And let's get into the video. So my nails currently look like this. If you guys want to see the video that I apply my Gelex nails on, please check out my other video. There I show you guys tips and tricks on nail prep and everything you need to know about applying Gelex nails. Before we put any gel products on, we're going to go in with a buffer and buff our nails lightly. As usual, we're going to go in with a base coat first. You really don't need to apply a thick coat of this base coat because this coat is used to prevent your nails from being stained by the gel color we're going to put on your nail. After it's cured for 60 seconds, we're gonna go in with this transparent milky color and just add a thin layer of it. It's important to add a thin layer because even though we're gonna go in with the second layer, we don't want our nails looking blotchy or bulky. And then we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. For the second coat, do the same thing with the same color. that for 60 seconds so this is the part that we're gonna start doing our aura nail design I recommend getting a little plate or a paper plate to put our colors on get any color that you want and also get the color white I started doing this only recently, but I realized that buffing your nail and removing the shine off of the nail makes it easier for the aura nails to be applied on top of it. Make sure you do this step very gently because we don't want to remove all the gel polish that we put on. I usually go in with the flat side of the beauty blender rather than the pointy side because that's what works for me. But if you guys feel like the pointier side works better, then do what you gotta do. As you can see, I'm going in with the pink color several times and putting it into the curing lamp several times. At first, you're not gonna see the color as much, so you have to cure it as much as possible and just keep layering it so the color starts being more visible. I decided to go in with a darker pink color to give it a bit more dimension in the middle.
At this point, you can see that the color is starting to build more and more. This is the point where the base of the oranil is built, so you can go in with a more intense color if you wish. Just so you guys know, I'm only putting in my fingers into the curing lamp for 20 seconds each. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of the nails. So this is how they look at the end and now we're going to put on a thick coat of top coat. You can either leave it the way it is or I just went ahead and decorated it a little bit with some hearts and glitter. You guys can add any kind of decorations that you guys have. I bought these hearts in AliExpress. It was only a dollar or two. So I recommend getting accessories from AliExpress because it's really affordable. After I've done my decorations, we're gonna go in with another top coat just to make sure that everything is together and nothing's gonna fall off. At the end, I just like to go in with rubbing alcohol or acetone to remove the stickiness. I did the same thing with the other hand, but I just switched the color to a light blue to make it a little bit different. I also recommend investing in a good cuticle oil because this cuticle oil from OPI is amazing. It just hydrates my cuticles right after I've just put them in the UV light. So I recommend getting any kind of cuticle oil because it's good for your nails. So this is how they look at the end. I'm literally obsessed with this beauty blender technique. It's so easy and it's so cheap and it's also very fast. I feel like a lot of the nail art these days take me three hours, but this took me less than two hours to do. So I recommend doing this technique. And if you guys like this video, please subscribe and like the video and comment down below what you want to see next and what kind of tips and tricks I should show you guys in the next video.